We are less than two months away from the Democratic National Convention. This August, the United Center will be packed with delegates from all over the country. Today, DNC officials moved in. CBS 2's Sade Gray shows us how they're transforming the sports arena into a convention hall. No Bulls or Blackhawks today, but there's branding of another kind at the United Center. We're so excited to continue that legacy and creating another iconic moment here in welcoming the 2024 Democratic National Convention. The new logo for the 2024 Democratic National Convention was everywhere inside the South Atrium of the United Center. Thank you so much. Thank you. Feel free to grab a sticker, a placard, anything you'd like. DNC supporters celebrated the transformation with the 360 photo booth, holding a key to the stadium that the United Center handed over to the DNC. Perfect three, two, one. Inside, you'll find construction crews revamping the arena. Seats where thousands of screaming fans once sat were removed. DNC executive director gives credit to his team for being able to pull this off. Casey's leading the team that is going to transform this beautiful arena into our convention hall where we will build the stage literally and figuratively for President Biden and Vice President Harris and our party to tell their story. This might be a walk down memory lane for some. The United Center hosted the 1996 Democratic National Convention. Thank you so much. You have welcomed us every time we have come to this building. DNC officials also give credit to partners like Choose Chicago for helping them get to the finish line. Chairman of Choose Chicago, Glenn Eden, expects the DNC to contribute $150 million to the economy. He also believes this will be the most inclusive Democratic National Convention. When you look at the caliber of vendors, um, we have the first African-American prime contractor uh, for the DNC um, that is here in Chicago. So, um, so that alone is going to provide countless of uh, numbers of jobs. As you can hear, construction starts today, and officials say it'll take more than a month for them to finish. Reporting at the United Center, Sharday Gray, CBS 2 News.